Hello, college biology students. Um, I'm going to give you some instructions on a project that you can easily do at home. Um, you are going to work on making a cell model. Um, and I have a couple of examples I'm going to show you. You can choose to do either a plant, uh, plant cell or an animal cell. It's really up to you. Um, and just make sure that you're representing the, the appropriate organelles for whatever kind of cell you're doing. Um, this example, this is an example from several years ago. I'm trying to get that really up close and personal. So this is obviously a plant cell as it's, it's very square. Um, you can see all the organelles are labeled for this plant cell. Um, I would expect if you did a plant cell that you would make it your own and it wouldn't look exactly like this. Um, but, but you can see um, the cell membrane. I don't know if you can see their cell membrane, cell wall, nucleus vacuole, all of the things that, that you would expect to find um, in a plant cell. Um, and, and this person was very creative. I, and this is what I would expect you to don't run out and buy a kit, but instead just use things that you have around the house um, that you can use to represent those organelles. Oops, the tag just fell off. This one is a, a little bit more of a, um, you know, kind of a, kind of a kit. One of the tags just fell off. And, and this works, but, um, and, and this person did use some really creative things, again, that they found around the house um, to represent the different organelles. That's hard to get, I don't know, hard to get a really clear, nice close-up picture of this. Maybe I'm too close. Um, um, actually, I'm kind of upside down so you couldn't read any of the tags. But uh, yeah, so this is another example. So it has to be three-dimensional. I think there's a loose piece on this one, but um, this, this person just used um, paper uh, um, and then made the organelles. I want you to use a variety of substances to, rec uh, to represent the organelles. I don't want you to, for example, use all uh, pipe cleaners to, do, to make everything. I want it to be a little bit more creative than that. And again, just using what you have around the house. So, and three-dimensional. Um, along with, and I don't have any examples of the key, but along with this, you need to make a key that shows all of the um, organelles, lists their functions, and tells me what you used for each of the organelles. And we'll probably, we'll probably, you may not have a way to turn this in, so we may just have you present over a Google Hangouts kind of meeting. I'm going to show you the room. All right, and then I posted this in Google Classroom. I thought I could do a screen share, but it's not working. Um, so this is just the rubric by which you will be graded. I know this isn't great. Um, so these are the criteria of what you have to do to get perfect um, score. But so key concepts, whoops, sorry, mirror image. Key concepts are talking about what to put on that key. So I expect you to have a separate key. And please don't give me a key that says, um, some, sometimes students say, can I, can I just number, rather than, rather than label the organelles on here, students will say, can I just put a number and then make a key that says number one is mitochondria? And no, because that's really, really difficult for me to, to um, grade and correct. I have to cross-reference all of those, and then I have to do that with everyone in the class, and so it's just really a lot. Whoops, hold on just a moment. Somebody just came in, but um, I think they, I think they're in the wrong spot. Um, anyway, so I do want you to make a key. The key should say, mitochondria, I used a jelly bean, a kidney bean, or whatever you used. That's what, that's what, the key is. So you're going to have a reference key that explains um, your, your model. Um, and then you also have a, you also have presentation. Um, where, and, and we'll do that probably over Google Meets. We'll have that presentation piece um, via video. So 
please let me know if you have any further questions on this.